The idea behind this little trick is very simple. To see how the colors work together, we align the strands and twist them, just like this. And then we can easily understand whether we like this color combination or not. As you see, when we twist one strand of cobalt blue color and one strand of golden color, we get a vivid color combination that would probably be great for a kid's garment or for a hat for a young adult, for example, but too bright for everyday sweaters and jackets. But if we use a strand of light blue color instead of the golden color, then we'll get a more subtle color combination that is better suited for everyday wear. And as you see, we can test a number of color combinations literally within minutes. If you plan to use one of the colors as um, the main color and the other color as an accent color, then instead of twisting them equally as we did just now, wrap the strand in the main color around the strand of the um, accent color. And that will give you a better idea of how these colors look when one of the colors is more dominant. So it will look about like this. If you want to get an even better view of the colors, then uh, twist the strands and arrange them into circles to make kind of a nest, just like this. And this is especially helpful if you use more than two colors. Then no color gets uh, concealed behind other colors and we see all colors in one spot. No matter whether you simply twist the yarns or arrange them in a nest-like shape, it helps to take a step back and look at the yarn from afar and from different angles. It is amazing how much our perception of color may change when we put more room between us and the yarn. To read this tutorial as a set of step-by-step -step photo instructions, go to tendrosaday.com slash matching dash yarn dash colors. To download it as a PDF, join the club at tendrosaday.com slash club. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next tutorial.